который две минуты назад не... Из Википедия. I love you, Pachettino. Is that correct? Eu te amo, Pochettino. Oi, te amo, Pochettino. And what's up, boys? And welcome to probably one of the more unexpected flashback cards that we've gotten this year. A very emotional day. The past 24 hours, for a variety of reasons, have been very emotional from uh, the team of the week that we just got, from uh, Jose Mourinho, um, uh, Pochettino being uh, unserendipitously, I'm not even sure that's a word, um, sacked, even though they're, market, uh, they're, they're branding it as him leaving the club um, for like 12 million, 12 million pounds or something like that, so he's going away with a lot of money, and then Jose Mourinho coming in just a few hours later. So a whole lot of stuff going on in the world of football, but today... We are going to focus specifically on this flashback 88. Jose Paulo Bezero, don't know what the M stands for, Jr. Sees himself get an 88 rated center defensive mid flashback card. Obviously plays for Guangzhou uh, and uh, sees himself get a very interesting looking card. Now, there's some theories going on on Twitter that, you know, with Black Friday and all that stuff coming up, um, th this is a coin suck, right? So it's like a, it's about 175, 200,000 coins around the same price range as that player of the month, Serge Gnabry, as well as uh, uh, the Konate is a little bit cheaper, but... Um, like the um, uh, the Angelino and then Guay one that you have to choose between. A lot of SPCs, a lot of, you know, not super, super expensive SPCs, but ones that are tempting people just enough to do them, uh, uh, functioning as a little bit of a uh, of a coin suck. Now, uh, fortunately, on this account, we're able to do as many SPCs as we want. Um, that is part of the uh, part of the channel. I want to help you guys out, figure out, uh, you know, if there's a certain card that you should be looking out for, if there are certain cards you should stray away from. Uh, this one, I'm really have no idea how to feel about it because it's it's a ridiculously ridiculously good looking card. Thirteenth uh, in terms of total in game stats for uh, as midfielders in FIFA period, including icons. That's an important stat for midfielders because it just gives you an idea of how well rounded a player is. It's less so for wingers and strikers and, and center backs for that reason. Uh, but for for midfielders, the total in game stat reference definitely makes a big difference for me. Now, before we go any further, I always say it in every video: if this helps you in some way, shape, or form, figure out if you want to completo this. Uh, this flashback flashback Paulinho card drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below now um, this is again 188,000 coins you get three packs back you get a jumbo premium gold pack a prime electrum players pack and then a rare electrum players pack those are the packs that you get back from it three star weak foot four star skill moves high high work rates and turns into a really interesting player because he's got ridiculous stats 79 acceleration, 75 sprint speed are by far and away some of his lowest rated stats in his pace category. 77 is not slow by any means. Goes up to 80 and then jacked off to 84 with the uh, with the engine chem style, which is what I'm applying to him to get his uh, dribbling up. 85 finishing and 85 composure. Very interesting stat combo for a guy that has some pretty good defensive stats as well. We're going to find out if this guy is attacking oriented because this is a, this is a card that really... Gets a juicy little upgrade. It's 111 total in-game stat upgrade. Physical stats are nuts. 96 jumping, 89 heading accuracy. Imagine if heading was a thing this year. This card would be would probably be one of the better strikers in the game, to be honest with you. Four-star skill moves, 85 finishing, 85 composure. With that jumping and that heading, 96 stamina, 85 strength. And then, like I said, some really, really decent, um, really decent defensive stats. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get into a couple of matches here, and we're going to see, we're going to try him out at Cam. So a very, very emotional little epi right here. We got some Brazilian boys in there trying out Otamendi for the first time, and I'm going to go to the custom tactics, and we're going to switch to a formation that helped us yesterday in the draft, and that is the 4-1-2-1-2. Paulinho at Cam. Match number one, vamos. Bro, that kit is honestly too fire. I've been getting a lot of questions on Twitter uh, regarding the... Um, the Pochettino firing. I, I personally think he probably... He, I think he should have been given till the end of the season. And then the fact that they hired Mourinho so quickly after... I mean, I don't know. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. There wasn't a press conference with Pochettino. Uh, we don't know how cordial the separation was or whatnot. But I hope it's not a case of... You know, they didn't let Pochettino spend a whole lot over his tenure. Over the five years that he was there. Yeah, he made some signings, but comparatively. Um, and then also... Um, I will say this. I, I hope it's not a case where they promised... Mourinho the ability to spend that would be really dirty if if they basically you know what I mean like if they 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 uh they limited what Pochettino was able to do throughout his entire tenure and he managed to make it to a Champions League final you know given those restrictions um 
But if they promised Mourinho that he would that they would let him spend, which he said that he said that in an interview in January 2019, he said, I, "The next job I have, I'd love to go to a situation where I can be in a position like a Pepper, a Pepper, a Klopp." So a lot, there's a lot of jokes going on about him possibly going to Arsenal. Don't see it in a million years. He said that he wouldn't. And I know in the world of football, you're as loyal as as money makes you. But I think Pochettino is a genuine dude, and when he said that he's not going to go there. Uh, I believe him. And then now that we've had this discussion, this guy gets a... No, offside. Never mind. All right, so we're seeing a little bit of that strength. You saw how he's... You know, you saw how sticky he was just there? Yes. Hulk! That's what he does. How tall is Paulinho, bro? He looks like an absolute monster. Is he six? There's no way he's six foot. There's no way Paulinho is six foot. Okay, maybe he is. Yeah, because Hulk isn't that tall either. Bro, what a strike from, uh, what a strike from Hulk. I love it! So much of my frustration in FIFA comes from getting some pretty decent chances inside the box. And then my opponent just uh, just having guys in there and then basically having like a second keeper. You know what I mean? It's super, super annoying. But uh, first first half, Paulinho feels kind of nuts, man. He feels a lot taller than than as as advertised. His dribbling stats feel pretty decent with the engine chem style. I'm, I'm very happy that we, uh, we have fixed that particular chem style to him. I love it. Okay, well that should be three. Makes up for it. Jonathan makes up for it with the ball roll, and we do go up 2-0. Um, no, sorry, Jonathan. Wait, Jonathan. No goals for Paulinho, no assists either. So he had a very minimal impact in terms of... Uh, in terms of playing as a cam, and that was just, I feel like that was just a very, very fluky game. Willian and Jonathan really just took over. Hulk obviously opened things up with that, uh, with that wonderful, wonderful, wonderful finesse from outside the box. And this guy was very much inside, was very much in this game as well, but his chances just didn't go his, uh, the chances just didn't go his way. Is Wikipedia? <laughs> you know Hulk's not missing that, boys. If you can't rely on Polino, you gotta rely on yourselves on a cheeky... Yo, Hulk is, uh... Any chance you get to use that card, bro, it's a good day. <laughs> the absolute mad lad, dude. Let's go. There's certain cards that just rise to the top, regardless of the formation you run or regardless of where you run them. And Hulk is one of those guys, man. <laughs> that's definitely wrong, man. I feel like that's got to be in. I feel like that's got to be in the back of the net. <laughs> that's definitely wrong, man. I'm gonna need Polina to step it up big time right now. Come on, is that two two? Beautiful get beautiful goal from Yonatan right there. Two two, seventy eighth minute. Another chance. Match number two is a draw, and again, difference maker could have been Paulinho. He gets himself a 7.7. .7. Another game where he doesn't get a goal or an assist. Jonathan stepped up. Uh, William stepped up with the um, with the assist, and Hulk obviously. Was this the match where Hulk scored the? Uh... This isn't the match where Hulk scored the banger, was it? This was the match where Hulk scored this absolutely incredible 
Volley, go on, you mad lad, dude. So we're gonna try this out. Balanced crossing runs, and then stay forward, and then see if this is, uh, if this changes his, uh, see if this changes his tactic at all. And then... There we go. Is that Paulinho or was that Jonathan? I'm pretty sure that was Paulinho. And that's Paulinho's first goal for the club. And I don't think that has anything to do with the tactic. I think we just got a little bit lucky there. Paulinho goes ahead and he blasts one in using that heading capability. And he showcases every bit of that heading capability. I believe that's our fourth, that's our fourth header of the month. <laughs> Even with the engine chem style, I'm not gonna lie, his dribbling feels a little bit clunky. And like his agility isn't half bad either, you know? It's 75 and, uh, sorry, 73 and Jacked off with the engine chem style. Just doesn't feel like it. Okay. Here we go. Now that's a finish. <laughs> now that's a finish and a half, boys. All right, the chip. Okay, we get the rage quit in match number three. Now, I think that was probably it. That was, I, I don't know if it was the tactic where we, we had him on, we, you know what? We had him staying back. We had him wait for the cross on the edge of the box. So I think that's probably why he wasn't making those forward runs. And uh, we managed to get, is that the Hattie in match number? Is that the Hattie in match number three with the Brazilian boys? Absolute scenes. I think he's probably getting out of here. And I think we're probably going to have to give him two separate ratings, to be honest with you. And we do get the rage quit. A perfect 10 and then a hat trick. Like, go on and explain that. It, was it as simple as making that tactical shift? Right? Was it as simple as making that adjustment where we had him... Uh, whereas before we had him waiting outside the box for the cross. And then then now we had it on balance runs. And I think that was it. What? What is this? So in terms of valuation, yes, it's a it's an 88 rated card, high end level card. It has some really really high end level stats as well. But given the timing and um, just the off league, I mean Brazilian nationality is great, but I just can't see myself giving it anything other in terms of value. Um, I got to give it a three out of five in terms of value. Again, it's 180 thousand coins, so it's not cheap by any means. Uh, Brazilian Chinese Super League. We already have some Chinese Super League players with the League SBC and then also Hulk and then also Mascarano. So if you did those, that might skew you doing this card a little bit differently. This might be a guy you bring on as a super sub. And again, not too difficult to link into a squad uh, because he is in fact Brazilian. Now on the pitch performance, I'm going to give it two separate ratings. I'm going to give it a rating for the first half for the first two matches, which we kind of hijacked. Going to be a board or a walkout. Um, I am going to give it a three out of five. Don't play him on the edge of the box. Let him do his natural thing um have everything unbalanced and if you want him to get forward do that Pr uh, press stay forward um have stay forward on the attacking option we get ourselves a cheeky vis on ben yetter uh so I, as an attacking option in the third match however he was very very good and i am going to give him a three and a half out of five on the infinity gauntlet so we kind of hijacked the first two uh the first two matches wasn't really really fair um and then showcased again why Hulk is uh, why Hulk is that guy? Uh, certainly, certainly a fun card, and, and and certainly a card that looks like he can get it all as a box to box mid. Don't have to worry about stamina. Don't have to worry about strength. Didn't exactly feel like 85 finishing, 85 composure. I'm not gonna lie, but again, we hijacked the first two matches using him com totally incorrectly, and I believe we had uh, I believe we had we had two wins and then we had a loss. But um, that is gonna do it for the 88 flashback Paulinho episode. If I, like I always say, if this has helped you in some way, shape, or form, figure out if you want to complete, uh, consider completing or or completing this SBC, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. We'll be streaming on Mixer over tonight. Going to be doing some rivals grinding on the RTG and try to see if we can uh, grind our way to that Serge Gnabry. Got the first slot done and then have two more left to do. But I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.